Okay, this is how you change a wheel stud in case some of yours might be stripped similar to this. Uh, so all I did was I took my tire off, my rotor, caliper, just let it hang there. And then I was lucky enough uh, to have this one nice little open spot right here. So when your bolt pops out, you have clearance. Otherwise, you got to struggle with the fan plate here. You should have a little slot somewhere. Just look for it. Or you might have to make your own, potentially on this side, where it's open. Might even be able to pop it out there. We could give it a shot. So, all you do is you take a nice hammer. Um, we'll try it here. There we go, pop it out. So in my situation, yeah, I could probably make it work. I'm not gonna fight it. I got an easy spot over here. And pop her out. Okay. Get your new one. Just slide it in. Make sure your, th your threads are kind of matching the inside there. You'll know by how it goes and kind of snug. Um, and I purchased this wheel stud installer off Amazon. It was like nine bucks and I swear to God, this thing saves so much work. It has a bearing on the one side and it's just a block on the other. And you put it on with the bearing on the one side. And then you take your lug, sorry. Thread it on, as you can tell, it's loose still. Thread it on. Thread it on. Get it to the snug point. Nice. And then, you just take your trusty impact. And watch how it just sucks it. Oh. So it just sucks it in. reverse you don't want to over torque it but the nice thing about the block is it always brings it in square so you don't have to worry about coming in on an angle and that's about the easiest way I could say how you change a lug stud